Hi guys, how are you feeling today? I am feeling great. Because the day has finally come for us to show you our latest building project, the third cottage. We have uh, been looking forward to this day for the whole summer. We have had some guests in the cottage already. It has been stress tested and now it's finally time to show it to you guys. But before we show you around, we're gonna show you some pictures from the process up until this day. Beautiful weather! <laughs> weather is good! Fast update from the latest building project. I've been here uh, making some uh, surfaces upstairs. We're uh, at the point right now. We are painting some of the wooden panels. Uh, we're waiting for inner doors. We are choosing colors. Linus has been drawing the kitchen. I, I like this design really much. No niin, Pekka, mitä sä teet? Joo! Hylly! Ja hylly leviä tänne. Jee! Kaappi. Joo. Pitäis näyttää On aika hieno. Mm. Nyt on kuudes sänky tulossa. Kuudes ja vika sänky. Yes. yes. Hyvä. Se on se kone, kyllä. Kone Siima! Mä oon vielä timmareiden kvar för det ska vara färdig. Fyra för två. Okej. Okej, let's go and have a look at the cottage. But before we go inside, I want to show you our new barbecue. Of course you need one of these in a house like this. So, and uh, with a view like that. Yeah, the view. Welcome.
to the third cottage. Let's talk some technical stuff. This cottage is a little bit different than the first two cottages. It's a little bit bigger. There is room for 10 people to sleep comfortably. Uh, there's a whole uh, upper floor. It's an open concept. There's a big dining table in the middle. So you can fit your whole family or group of friends here. We can also make this table longer. So you can really have like a big company or, or, or a big group meeting or just a dinner here. Of course, we have put a lot of effort into the kitchen. The kitchen is like in the earlier cottages, a central part of the design. Of course, we have running water warm and cold. All the accessories you need to, to cook food in this cottage. Yes, everything is working. Microwave, oven, everything you need. A lot of storage. And then of course, all the tools you need for cooking, eating. If you plan to have a dinner here, you can find all the pots and pans and everything. You just need to bring the food itself that we don't provide. Of course, we have a dishwasher in this cottage. It's real luxury and uh, Easy to have many guests. Easy to have a lot of guests. You can, for example, invite the other cottage guests over for dinner. Uh, fridge, freezer, everything you need to store your food. So we have the living room, living space, comfortable leather sofas. Ah, a perfect place to sit and uh, enjoy a glass of wine, read a book under the, the reading light and uh, if you if the book is boring you can just look through the front doors and uh, you see the ocean in front of you. Imagine this place during a winter storm. We have a toilet of course. Uh, it's a compostable separating like in the other cottages even in our home. Works perfectly flush with water and yeah easy and good for nature the most beautiful mirror on this island in my opinion i like this uh, fancy light yeah wash your hands perfect this is my favorite room in this cottage to sleep here with this view ah oh, it's so cozy i could die here I was going to say, but not die. <laughs> but this is so cozy. Um, I am looking forward to spending uh, a night here uh, when it's winter and it's totally quiet and uh, empty and nature naturish outside. Naturish outside. <laughs> cool. This room is like a, like it's like a small tiny house inside of. A bigger house. This was downstairs. Plenty of room for for uh, living the living the life. Let's go and have a look at upstairs. Welcome to the upper floor. And as you can see, there is plenty of of headspace and uh, plenty of room. We have the same uh, amount of square feet up here that we have uh, downstairs. We have uh, plenty of beds, as you can see, these ones are really comfortable, big and soft enough for all size of people and you can also put them on top of each other and this is how we can stack a lot of beds up here without it looking crowded. So all corners have their own electricity plugs and uh, reading lights and you can really enjoy your time in your cozy little corner of of every room of this cottage and of course we have a master bedroom so welcome so this is my second favorite place uh, in this house um, the the bed with the even more beautiful view view of the beach there you can see do you think uh, people sleep well up here? Yes, because you, you can uh, also get it really dark. 
And if you need to spend some time alone and maybe shut the door up here and uh, read a book by yourself while your family or friends are partying downstairs, you just uh, take a seat in the corner of the master bedroom, put up your feet and open your book and everything is fine again. Oh. <laughs> mm. Is it a great book? It's really good. Harry Potter. <laughs> I never read that one. And this painting is painted by our friend Kirsi Vehvilainen, Viivaton. Um, she worked here this summer and the summer before that. And she custom made this uh, painting to this uh, cottage. We can link her Instagram in the description down below. Okay, that was a tour of this cottage. We are really proud of this cottage. We put a lot of energy in the whole project and the earlier cottages and this is like an end of an era. It was the last uh, big planned cottage on this island and we have been continuing this project for, for a few years now. Uh, we're really happy with how it turned out. I can still remember when we got the first guests. Well, that's not long ago, but the feeling when, when we do, did the last details and, and emptied all the trash and cleaned out and then you packed the ATV with all the extra stuff and drove away and then at the same day we, we invited the new guests to the island and gave them the key and they just opened the door and stepped in and, and it just came to life. The cottage was ready and people were enjoying it and it was like one side of me felt like really happy of course, tired but also some kind of emptiness. You had really been concentrating on getting it ready for so long and, and really getting to know every detail of the cottage when you built it yourself. And then suddenly it was ready and suddenly guests were just enjoying it and it, yeah. I think that was it for this video. Uh, hopefully you got a good picture of this cottage and hopefully we will see you here as guests sometimes in the future. If you haven't yet, please go and subscribe to the channel. We still make videos once a week, try to at least, no promises. But in these videos you can really follow everything that goes on on this island or yeah, whatever we decide to film. Can we get a thumbs up? <laughs>